I brought these two axes out just to kind of give you all an idea of what it takes to make world-class axes. So many people talk about axes with just one beam length. They talk about the main beam. That doesn't really tell you much about the axis steer, does it? It doesn't to me. I mean, if I told you I shot a whitetail with 20 inch beams, you don't know if that deer's 100 inches or 200 or 300 inches. So when you're talking big, big axis, they got to have it all, like these. This one's over 180 inches, non typical, number eight in the world. This one's over 172 inches as a typical. And he's going to score somewhere in the top 15 ish. So both of these are world class axes. I don't hunt numbers, I hunt animals that I like. I hope you do the same. But when you're talking about axes, and I'm talking big axes, world class kind of axes, they got to have more than just main beam length. A 36 inch axis, which is going to be this big, that has caudal tines that are this big and eye guards that are that big, it's going to score way less than this axis. Way less. Once again, I'm not a score guy. I hunt four-legged animals that I enjoy what they look like. So I shoot what I like, so please do the same. But also learn to talk about your axis like you do whitetail. You don't ever say I shot a, a whitetail with 20 inch beams or I shot a whitetail with 22 inch beams or I shot an elk with 55 inch beams. You always talk about an overall score. So learn to score axis. I've got another video on my YouTube channel that will show you how. Or you can call me, leave a comment, I'll be happy to show you. It's pretty easy. Learn to field judge them. And when you're talking about them, talk about them like you do whitetail or elk or red stag. I shot a 353 inch elk or, or I shot a 400 inch red stag, whatever. Once again, I'm not a score guy, so it's not that big a deal to me. I shoot what I like. So at the end of the day, obviously shoot what you like. But if you're looking for real world class, and I'm talking world class kind of axis, they got to have way more than main beam length. Talking about them with just one measurement of the main beam really short sells an axis, in my opinion. Check out the other video. Let me know what you think. Learn to field judge your axis. Learn to score your axis. And let's start talking about them in something that we can all relate to and all envision in our head that's not just one measurement of one beam. Good luck, honey. Got any questions? Post a comment. Let me know if I can help. Y'all take care.